There's a lot of people who start businesses out of ego, like they just want to start a business because it's cool. Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you've been looking at the videos recently, you'll see that I went to an event called Startup 2018. This was an event in East London where they brought together loads of really good business minds um, and entrepreneurs, and they basically dished out great advice to people who want to start their own business. So I decided to go there and try and chat to some of these people and see what I could learn. In this interview, I'm speaking to James. So James owns a company called Sanctus, who has this crazy idea, a really cool idea, about having mental health gyms on the high street. So what is a mental health gym and how is this gonna happen? Um, let's see what he had to say. So I have cornered James on these very impressive steps. James, what is your startup and what do you do? It's called Sanctus, so we're on a mission to change the perception of mental health big vision to put the world's first mental health gym on the high street uh, but right now we work with businesses to help them talk more about mental health and to help their staff have a space where they can open up. Okay so we're gonna have to come back to that. What is a mental health gym? I don't actually know yet in fairness that's just the big vision. Um, I hope that it's basically a safe space right like the word sanctus comes from sanctuary it's that safe space where you can yeah, just be yourself and, and maybe say the things that you would not say to uh, your partner or your work colleague or your friend. Somewhere where you can talk everything that you need to yeah. and no one can judge you. All those weird little things that are in your head at night that you don't really say to anyone, uh, you can say it at Sanctus and that might include, you know, spaces for meditation, for journaling or for coaching sessions or therapy, who knows, I'm not quite sure how it'll look yet but We'd love, to, we'd love to have a space on the high street because I think that would really sort of name the day when the, the stigma of mental health is, is gone and, and the perceptions have changed. So that's the kind of bigger picture. So you said you're working with brands and companies at the moment. Yeah. What does that kind of look like? So first of all, I mean, we, we started working with businesses because that's where people are, right? Like people spend so much time at work. Um, and also it's really hard to talk about your mental health at work because mm. your, your fear of being judged or that you won't get that promotion or you won't get given responsibility and, and all of that. So the workplace was an obvious first place to talk uh, to start talking and businesses are really feeling the, the, the effects of bad mental health. People leaving or getting signed off with stress or being not nice to their colleagues basically. So we'll start off by helping a business talk about mental health. Um, so we'll do some workshops across the business to kind of reframe what mental health is and then we'll put a Sanctus coach into the business for let's say a day a week and that's the space where people can literally talk about anything they want. What made you decide this is what I want to follow and what kind of drove you to, to do this project? It was my own experience to be, to be honest. Uh, I'd started a business before straight out of university um, and I suppose the stress and the pressure and the isolation uh, and actually the, the failure in the end of that business kind of led me to have a bit of a kind of a bit of a crisis I suppose like a bit of an identity crisis and just uh, I started to feel my mental health for the first time uh, lots of anxiety panic attacks and when I was kind of struggling I just realized how little I knew about my mental health like, I literally knew nothing like, I'd never been taught it never talked about it never talked to anyone about it never really opened up so I suppose for me the inspiration was to one kind of help, my, help myself uh, and help myself learn more about my own mental health and myself in the end and, and help others as well. So yeah, very much like a personal experience. And it's a topic obviously, as you said, that comes with loads of stigma. What has been like your biggest challenge uh, as a founder and an entrepreneur in, in bringing this to life? To be honest, like, I, I think we're, we're kind of chipping away at the stigma, you know, and I think you talk openly about mental health and people resonate like it's something that so many people can relate to we've like I said we've all got it we're all on the spectrum so I don't think it's really the stigma's not so much been a challenge for us because that's what we're trying to change I think just any number of business challenges that anyone facing the, the mistakes we've made with our brand or with our content or with the way that we position Sanctus uh, I think we've made a few mistakes with language I think language is really important in, in what we do in the way that you talk about it so I don't know what our biggest challenge is in maybe just maintaining our own mental health probably <laughs> while running it has probably been the biggest challenge 
So I like I like talking about mistakes because I think there's always so much learning in yeah. there. If there was kind of one thing or one moment that you've gone, oh God, I wish I'd done that differently. Yeah. Um, what is that and how did you kind of overcome it? Um, I mean, in my first business, there was a thousand and one mistakes. Uh, ultimately, even doing that business was a mistake because it wasn't, we weren't passionate about it. It wasn't the right business for us. So I think that's the biggest mistake I've ever made, starting a business out of ego uh, rather than starting a business out of passion. Very honest. <laughs> yeah, and, and out of care. Um, in Sanctus, the, probably the biggest mistake I've made is beating myself up too much for making mistakes, right? Just like, we all make mistakes, that's cool. Just learn from them, talk about them, move on, and, and don't be afraid to make them. And I think sometimes I'm probably still too afraid to, to make mistakes. What would be your one tip to someone who has an idea and wants to turn it into a business? I would actually encourage people to reflect more on why they want to start a business. So to really think about the reasons you want to start a business and what place that comes from. Like I said, I think there's a lot of people who start businesses out of ego, like they just want to start a business because it's cool uh, or for lack of a better idea. That's not the right reason to start a business. Do you know, are you really passionate about it? Do you really care about it? Do you have a vision? Is there a purpose? Really reflect on it and, and think about what you want as well, like in your life, not just for your business. Do you, do you want to build a massive business that's a big unicorn that sells for a million billion pounds? Or do you just want a, a business that, that you can run on your own? Do you even want to have the responsibility of a team? So really reflect on, on doing it because it is a big, it's a big lifestyle choice. Yeah. That's super interesting because I think often, you know, people just want to be the biggest, right? They don't necessarily think what's going to fit into my life. Yeah. But so for 2018, what is your kind of thing that you're focusing on or what you want to achieve with the business? For the business, to be honest, I think we just want to do more of the same. I know it sounds pretty boring, but we had a really good, uh, yeah, last year was probably our first like proper year of business. So this year we probably want to like double in size um, and just continue to have impact. I think that's what we're driven by, you know, we're driven by impact and change in mental health. So just to keep doing that, and that's a hard one to measure. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for speaking with us. Pleasure. If you had to put a date on when I'm going to see the first, when can I sign up in January? You know, you've got to sign up yeah, to things in January to my January, first mental health deals. gym. What year are we saying? Oh, I'm, I'm, I think realistically, we're probably looking at a fully fledged, I reckon 2020. I think we can do it by 2020. So if you enjoyed this video um, of myself talking to James, there is a link to many more in the description. If you enjoyed it, please do subscribe. It's always nice to have subscribers. <laughs> Thanks very much. Bye.